Damn, these ain't loyal. <laughs> is gonna hear this message and my message is wake the fuck up black america mm. that's the message man i keep trying to tell y'all that there's more to the story than they tell us and tiktok this video is fake do not mess with the, the gully peach they'll actually put a stone or block in her mouth to keep her from talking there's actually books written where they were so frightened of them the women especially, because they practice this communal protectionism that if a sound that came out of her mouth, it meant your death. And so when we say, it was not a game, it is just a knowing of how the universe works better than some people to a certain extent. And do you want to know what's kind of funny to me? Y'all know that tongue clicking? That was an actual language, a very, very high vibrational one. It is in language in South Africa that is going extinct. Why? Because they were killed by colonizers for speaking that language. And she also states that they would get beaten up by white men if they were caught speaking their own language. I really want y'all to recognize how powerful speaking is. Like I say, if you ever just hug somebody and they talk, you can hear their voice in their chest. If you touch the back of somebody who's talking, you can feel the vibration going through their body. Your body is listening to you. Do you know how powerful we have to be for them to be able to want to be on the verge of killing us? Putting rocks inside of our mouths so we couldn't speak? Y'all gotta recognize that creating vibration within your mouth is very powerful. The English language that we speak doesn't even create any type of vibration to enhance the rate of our communication. This is the lowest form of speaking. Just a little hint though. Y'all stay dangerous. More information. All right, I'm about to speak some truth here. Majority of the Anunnaki are actually black. This is because black people have the strongest souls which possess the most power. It all has to do with the pigmentation of their skin. Darker pigmentations of your skin allow you to absorb more frequencies of the sun. Because the sun is known to strengthen the DNA of your soul, this is why they are so powerful. The system knew about their power. Why do you think the system gave them such a hard time? They were trying to contain it. I'm just here to tell you the truth. And the truth is, everybody's getting their power back. And there's going to be a power shift real soon. Black, pe Black people have superpowers. Let me tell you why. Think about it, yeah. If life is a game, then being black is like the highest level, like your, your, your game, like the play of the game, like the highest form of the creation of the hilly Like, it just, if you think about it, yeah, being black, yeah, in any industry, whether it's rapping, 
football, being an athlete, influencing, modelling, whatever it is, they're just winning. They take everyone's gal, they got beautiful skin, they can eat anything, and like, it's just, just it's their genes, they're, it's their DNA. Like, they're just winning. I, I just, like, it's not fair, but like, it's fair because it makes sense. Like, if, if reincarnation is real, I can't lie to you, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell, be like, yo, this time, I wanna be black, like, when I incarnate again, like, I wanna want feel what it feels like to have, you get me, like, bruv, I can't lie. What the fuck is black power about this? Nigga, your pyramid, they done took the capstone off your shit. That's showing you they separated your mind from your body. Mm -hmm. So you talking about black power through this. Yeah. This ain't worth, I couldn't even wipe my ass with this. It'll cut my ass. Mm. So with that being said, this ain't even worth me cleaning myself, let alone feeding myself. Black power is when you can establish your own motherfucking economy instead of trying to liberate yourself through the economy that sold you. You, you, you was the first That's motherfucker real. that this dollar was worth. Now you gonna take the dollar and try to make yourself worth something through the dollar? You gotta be the stupidest motherfucker that's talking about revolution that I ever seen. Black power is when you can get your own shit. Black, see, we not asking for nothing. We're not asking you. We telling you. We not asking you for no what? Bitch, give me these watermelons. What y'all trying to do? That's what we. That's black power. Black power is I do what the fuck I wanna do, and if I'm wrong, my people. Gonna be the authorities. You ain't motherfucking my judge. Yeah. You not. Send me to Africa and let them sit this Because I tell you what, how many Chinese motherfuckers you see in jail? I've been to prison. Ask me how many Chinese motherfuckers I sent to jail. None. 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 Because when they get in trouble, China deal with them. But we talking about black power. Then you stu silly, stupid motherfuckers keep talking about, so we gonna put our money together. Bitch, it's not your money. It's not That's yours. Right. It's not right. yours. That's so right. we talking about black power. If you not talking about full scale revolt, Sit your dumb ass down, nigga. Yeah, Sit your dumb ass down. It's let, not gonna work. Quick, it ain't gonna motherfucking work. Yeah. It's an insult to believe that God, the great planter of life, only planted life upon this, our shabby little world. The creature told our people that the race of humanity was once great amongst the stars that human beings were once the leading race in the great cluster of stars the galaxy the creature said that because human beings were so vicious so aggressive towards other intelligent creatures and towards living things in general. A great war broke out amongst the stars as several worlds joined forces against the human race, fought it and drove it away from the center of the great star flower. To seek refuge in this forgotten world of ours. The Nomu or the Nomu or the Nomo told our people that there were many races amongst the stars, races of living beings who were afraid of us human beings who kept us under constant observation to ensure that never again do we become a threat to other intelligent creatures amongst the worlds. The first people to populate Europe were black people. They were known as Gromorodi. First people to populate England were black people. They were known as Pika. First people to populate India were black people. They were known as Dravidians. First people to populate Japan, black people. They were known as Masaba Negroes. Mulembe, Kamaku, Wagasile, they came from here. They populated Japan. That's why Japanese names are like Ugandan names. Takahara, Nakamura, Kato, Toyota, all those. Because the first Japanese were black people. In ancient time, the whole world belonged to the black man, the black woman. You are the people that populated the world. You are the people that gave birth to everybody else. And quite significantly, and I am telling you this as a scholar, I have a right.
library of 32,000 books. I have read each one of them. Not only read them, but remember them. I have traveled in almost every corner of the world, lectured at the most prestigious universities. I am telling you that in ancient time, the only, the only people who are on earth were you and your ancestors. You. And you are also the people of the scriptures. All scripture, be it the Red Fit Veda, the Nama Pali, the Pera in Peru, the Papyrus of Ani, the Papyrus of Hunefa, the Quran, the Bible, the Book of the Rosta, the Epic of Gilgamesh, is all about black people. The 144,000 is the return of the Messiah, for Yah's salvation is made apparent through them. And according to the Bible, the Messiah is not a man, but the Messiah is light, and the light is God. And that's why they're activated in their foreheads and sealed, because the forehead is where the mind's eye is, and we call it the pineal, or the pineal. And Jacob made clear that the pineal means face of God, for El means God, and that's where you see God face to face. And God is the light in which the Messiah is the actual representation of, right? So with that being said, the 144,000 or nine Ethereal Israelite beings, the Shemitic line, which are actually what the humans are calling the aliens, hence they got ghost DNA and DEA, right? The oxy ethereal acid, because they're ethereal beings, nine ether, 144, one plus four plus four equals nine. And this is all secret codes that those who are too blinded to see don't understand. They're the ones that are walking amongst you now. That's why the angels hold back the four winds in the last days before the world ends, because they are all on earth getting sealed in their foreheads in this great awakening that is taking place. They were all birthed down here in the turn of the late 19th century, and the government know this. That's the ones they was called the indigo children, crystals, and rainbows, who had these extraordinary abilities that they was really worried and nervous about. And that's why many of these governments are saying that their problem is with the young black youth and they're the biggest threat. Everybody knows at this point, black don't crack. I have a theory that only black people can tell how old other black people are. There is a few anomalies out there, but I feel like for the most part, I can look at a black person and be like, I know at least within like what five years age group you are. Did anybody else feel that way? I feel like that's definitely a skill and a gift that only we have. Melanin pigment, right? Right. It's so unbelievable, George. They use it in computer chips now because it has an ability to transduce electrical energy. Can you imagine this? It has this incredible ability to hold on to and transduce and manipulate electrons, electronic energy and photons, photonic energy. It's a fascinating molecule. For the ones who think we're not activating, watch. Look. One step, two step, three step, four step, five step, six steps. How can they make that fall from here? How? Make it make sense. And y'all think we're not activating? Y'all think we're not activating? Ah! Stop playing with us, boy. Watch the pull. Watch the pull. Black is powerful. The more melanin you have, the more information your brain can store. The more melanin you have, the faster the nerve transmissions are. The more melanin you have, the more sound you absorb in your ear, so you hear the full range of sound. No other race can do that. The more melanin you have, the more color you can absorb in your eyes. That's why your eyes are brown. You actually see the full color. There's three powers that you have to develop in order to see with your spiritual eyes. That would be the power of meditation, the power of imagination, and the power of intuition. 
And once you develop those powers, your spiritual mind opens and you start to understand and see what was hidden by the ego mind and understand that there's more to life, more to existence than the physical realm. Thank you and have a blessed day. Your hair is even shaped different from theirs. This is your hair, shaped like the galaxy. Their hair is divided like a kidney. Your hair is shaped differently. You absorb more sound in your ear because you have melanin. You see more color in the color because you have melanin in your eyes. We call it ices or iris. When you see their eyes, you see the veins in back of their eyes, which make their eyes see a, seem blue or gray. Those are veins you're looking at. You have actual irises. It's not a matter of under the skin we're all the same. That's a lie. Your blood crystallizes differently. You have more minerals in your bones. Your nerves have melanin in it, so you transmit nerve messages faster and store more information. Your nerves are different. Your bone is different. Your hair is different. Whoever told you under the skin we're all the same, they told you a lie. And that's not the first lie they told you either. And you know that. It's probably about the 1,000 one, really. I, I don't keep track of them anymore. You know, they said that they trapped Brown killed somebody. That's a lie. I mean, they, I don't want to get into all that, but you know what I'm talking about. They told you a lie when you were born. They said it's your birthday. You didn't birth yourself. You crazy? Your mother birthed you. It's your Earth Day. Your mother's birthday. She birthed What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. I told y'all niggas had powers. I ain't seen this nigga drink a, a, a cup of nothing. Take his head off. It ain't hiding nowhere. He done took a shower by his damn self. He the shower. They lost. I'm lost. Oh my God. Oh! Let me see it one more time. Come on, one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh! This some Wakanda shit. We don't need nobody. What the fuck is you paying the water bill for? Cut that shit off. It's in us. Come on, man. Oh. A gallon that came out by now. Oh, my God. No, this nigga ain't drunk nothing. I ain't seen a, a cup of shit. One more time. Come on, one more time with your magic ass. One more time. Dang. Okay, this is a really good question. So it started back in 1962. I actually have no clue. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dr. C and I study comic books. And as for why black superheroes often have lightning powers, I don't know either. And I haven't been able to find a good academic explanation for it. But I have a thought. My hope is that this is taking a common racist trope in media and turning it into something good. And that trope specifically is the idea of blackness being tied to the primitive, the natural, and the supernatural in a way that is dangerous and threatening. See, this trope has been used throughout media to vilify blackness, both in fiction and in real life. And my thought is that because lightning is so uniquely natural, but also seemingly supernatural, that by associating it with black heroism, they are taking this old story element that has been used so negatively and trying to turn it into something positive. This is kind of like how Luke Cage started off as a black buck stereotype and then evolved into a positive representation of blackness. Also, lightning is visually cool, and coolness is a core component of how blackness is constructed in media. Seven most powerful black queens in history part four. Nefertiti, queen of ancient Kemet, Egypt. Nefertiti was an Egyptian queen and the great royal wife chief consort of Akhenaten, an Egyptian pharaoh. With her husband, she reigned during what was arguably the wealthiest period of ancient Egyptian history. Nefertiti and her husband were known for a religious revolution in which they worshiped solely the sun, Aten. 
as the only god. Her full name means beautiful are the beauties of Aten. A beautiful woman has come. Beyond belief, sur beyond belief surged through him. White hot. Unstoppable. It felt like pure. today with another one and today we'll be talking about the energy of the sun growing up many of us are told that staring at the sun you would go blind and how the sun was so bad for us but in fact the sun helps improve the human body in many ways this is what superman was doing he was harnessing the sun energy a lot of cultures practice sun meditation from america to india we also practice sun gazing Many of us don't know this, but it's required that we get 15 to 30 minutes of sunlight each day. Staring at the sun also helps improve vision and release toxins from the body. Now, depending on the genetic makeup of the human body, everyone can't take the sun. This is our nature. People with blue and green eyes cannot take the sunlight. You would always see these people squinting or wearing sunglasses. This is because their eyes are sensitive because of the lack of pigmentation inside of their pupils. Those with brown or dark eyes have less discomfort from the sun and also could see better at nighttime. Those of us who have cataract and other eye diseases is clear proof from sun damage. Sun worshiping originated in Egypt thousands of thousands of years ago. We did it as a family with our kids and everyone. Sun worshiping is also the big secret in activating the third eye. This is also where prayer for the Egyptians first began. They will hold their hands out to the sun, allowing the UV rays to come in hitting their palm. And this is how they will receive their blessings from the most high in the sky. So the correct way to pray is in the sunlight, doing open hand prayers. In our religions, we do closed hand prayers, also inside of a church. This is blocking us from our true blessings. You could even hold your palms up to the sky and use a filter to show radiation and your hands will light up like a flashlight. Your scientists, professors, and colleges, they know everything that I'm telling you guys, but they rather hide it from us. So all our true history was turned against us, made evil. So you ask yourself, why us? Why this happened? Because we are gods. Nature work with us, not against us. Peace and elevation, family. Survive. And we discovered the clock. We did discover the wheel. We were, black man has never been a caveman. You've never been in the cave. There's no history of it. You've ever been in a cave. Uh, we discovered mathematics and uh, the alphabet and writing and all of those great things that they have built a foundation on that they came and got and took back to other countries. We don't know what Africa would be like without the white influence. Did you know that white folks knew that Jesus was a black man? The Pope know it. The Pope got in his private worship chamber. The black Madonna with a black baby Jesus. How come they don't show that in America? That's shown in Europe. 
but not here because in America this is the citadel of white supremacy and therefore if you're going to elevate white to the position of God you cannot show anything favorable on the black man lest the black man will begin to think better of himself and as long as you think that you are nothing you always be ruled by others you got the picture the untold truth about melanin Melanin is more than just a skin pigment. Not only is it all throughout your skin, but it's in your hair, your eyes, and throughout your entire nervous system. Melanin has a value greater than gold at $450 per gram, while gold is only $60 per gram. Melanin is literally so powerful, they're attempting to use it in military grade weapons. We understand melanin to be a super semiconductor of consciousness that connects you back to the source. We understand melanin scientifically to be biochemical sunlight, living light. Be sure to follow for a part two. Reflected light from the most high chief, Baba Aji. Peace to the gods. Allah Maso. Were you ever watching Young Justice and wondered who this was? Yeah, me too. He was an alien named Arnis from the planet Terminus that was in a spaceship when the spaceship malfunctioned. He escaped using an escape pod, landing in the middle of a plantation in 1839. Arnis took the shape of the first life form he seen, which was a slave woman. He shapeshifted himself into an infant and was adopted by the woman and given the name Augustus Freeman. He stayed on Earth, and after a couple of decades, he decided to settle down in Dakota City and become a lawyer. Even though Augustus already had his superpowers, he almost never used them, never for any think heroic anyway he would use them for little things and his powers are almost identical to superman until a teenager named raquel irving witnesses power one night when her and her friends were trying to rob him and he used his powers to stop them after that night she went to his office to try to convince him to use his powers to become a superhero and she wanted to become his sidekick who we know as rocket and he agreed and they became the duo of icon and rocket if you learned something new today why not drop a like and a follow Modern scientists have no clue about what they call dark matter or dark energy in the universe, but the African sages have always known everything about it since the beginning. The ancient word for dark matter or dark energy is Omba in the Kikuyu language, which is an ancient priesthood language, meaning it's a language of esteemed ancient scientists. Omba means to cover. This definition is important because in ancient African culture, Things were named according to their purpose. So when I say that Oba means to cover, that's exactly what so-called dark matter slash dark energy does. It covers everything, including you, me, and even inanimate objects such as rocks, trees, houses, and every single thing in physical existence. The law of correspondence is as above, so below, as within, so without. Now, the Oba falls exactly in line with this because just like you have an intelligent spirit inside of you that gives you intuitive guidance there's also an intelligence that covers the outside of you and everything else in the universe that is the oba the intelligence outside of us that covers us and everything in the physical world now you know what so-called dark matter slash energy is let's talk about what it does so what does it do? The intelligence outside of us communicates with the intelligence inside of us and provides awareness and information about objects in our surrounding areas. Here's a practical example, especially for those people who are more in tuned. If you close your eyes and walk around, that feeling you get when you get close to another object and perhaps about to collide with that object so it makes you slow down, that is the omba communicating to try and prevent you from hurting yourself. In that sense, we can say that the Omba or the dark matter slash energy can function as a safety mechanism in humans to subtly alert our conscious minds about objects in our immediate environment. Or we can say that the Oba enables us to have an intellectual exchange of information with objects that otherwise don't have their own intelligence. So it's like an additional brain or a natural artificial intelligence that communicates for all objects in the physical world, even things that aren't alive per se. Let's use another common experience, for example. When someone's standing behind you and you can feel it, that's the Oba letting you know that someone is near to you. I'll even say this. I heard a lot of women say that they can feel when a man is staring at their booty. Now that's the umba. His umba is communicating to her umba, and her umba is letting her know exactly what he's doing. And I know a lot of men can vouch for this, that you'll be looking at a random woman's booty, and then next thing you know, she's looking you dead in your eye. 
Well, now you know why. It's the dark matter or dark energy slash the umba. Let's go back to a traditional African science example. Certain Kikuyu seers and other African sages can read a letter that's inside of a sealed envelope without physically seeing the words on the page. Or they can just touch a book and instantly know everything the book says without taking the time to physically read the pages of the book. That's the umba. The umba from the book and the letter sending the information about the object into the mind of the traditional African sage or seer. Now, let's look at a biblical example. When Moses was told to remove his shoes at the burning bush because it was holy ground that he was standing on, that's what modern people call earthing. And all earthing is, is connecting your umba directly to the umba of the planet Earth, which everybody should do more often in order to increase the quality of the connection from time to time. Now, let's take it to a cosmic level. The umba even covers entire planets and stars and is responsible for regulating the separation between the celestial bodies. So without the umba or the dark matter slash energy so-called, the planets would all collide into each other chaotically and it would be impossible to sustain life in the universe. Now let's talk energetically. The energy potential of the Omba would far exceed the power of a hydrogen bomb or anything else that these demonic forces and white folks created as a weapon. Now, if one knows how to command the Omba, you can do many, many great and powerful things that might even make the average person a little bit scared to mess with you. Which brings me to my final point. There's also a very special relationship that exists between the Omba and the shadow. But this wisdom is not for the public because it would surely be abused by the abundance of immature personalities which are mass produced by the culture of the modern world. Now, until that is rectified, the knowledge of how the dark matter interacts with the shadow remains with the Kikuyu seers and other guardians of Africa's secrets. Peace, divine unity, Selekano. Mount Zion is Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya. So every single one of us has superpowers, correct? I'm not tripping. N none, none of our white friends got it? Yeah, I checked on my boy Costa. He ain't got no powers. This is some bull. All right, so what's everybody's superpowers? I control lightning. Typical. I got orientation manipulation. Don't you mean oral manipulation? No, you heard what I said. Watch this. Mm. What? You're gay now. That's not how it works. I do feel like sucking some Wow. Okay, um, you're dangerous. Can you change your back? Uh, I don't know, bro. Um, reverse slavery. Come on, y'all. We was all thinking it. I I'm down. Hey, look, exactly, exactly. Who gonna stop us? Good question. Now, black people's skin contains carbon. Carbon-12 composed makes six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons, which is a structure for melanin. Melanin comes from the sun. That's why people get darker in the sun, because they absorb its melanin. Right now, our DNA is locked. We only use 20 out of 64 amino acids. The hotter that sun gets and the more we're in it, it's unlocking our DNA. See, in ancient times, they was in tune naturally with unlocked DNA. They was connected to the source, God. They knew how to live naturally. They didn't need a book to tell them how to live because they had their pineal gland open. You see the cobra on top of their head? That symbolizes their kundalini energy rising and hitting their pineal gland. So the pharaohs, the ones with the pineal gland open, was worshipped as gods. They understood the power of the sun. Do you see the sun on top of his head? That's Ra, the sun god of Egypt. But they took away our true history and gave y'all his story. See why it's a picture of son of every painting of Jesus? It took sun god and reversed it to the son of God. Pharaohs was black, but then they whitewashed everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Just think about how black history don't go no further than slavery. Nobody ever asked what was we doing before slavery because they don't want black people knowing the truth about their history. Now in case y'all don't know, we invented almost everything. The white man either bought it or stole it from us. Now they be putting our stuff up in museums and stuff. We even built the pyramids. Oh yeah, and we were way bigger too. But I'ma say that for another video. Now who's mostly in jail? Who's mostly in gangs? Who's mostly shooting and robbing people? Who's mostly getting shot by police? Who's mostly looked down on in this country? Black people. 
And you think all this is happening only because our skin color is different? No, before slavery, white people knew how powerful we were. So they enslaved us and now we're in their country where they're on top. And now we're looked down upon. Now people think of black people as thugs. But how do we become thugs if we were just kings and gods? They literally programmed us to be this way. Why do you think they promote rappers that talk about killing people and taking drugs? Like, actually, think about that. That's the most promoted music. They got all our females wanting to be hood rats. They don't want our women to look up to these queens. They want y'all to look up to Nicki Minaj. And the reason why I said we will never change is because they got us so programmed to the point where even if one black hood person woke up, he won't speak out or try to talk to his friends or nothing because he's scared of looking lame. Oh, you lame, you corny, all this stuff. Because you finally trying to make a change. It's way more I want to say to this, but I got a feeling tip tap on delete the video. So if you're new to my page, follow me and subscribe to my YouTube. I'm about to post a video on it soon. You need to wake up. I melanin. What is melanin? Melanin is a complex polymer derived from amino acid tyrosine. In humans, it is responsible for producing or determining the pigments in the hair, skin, and the eyes. According to Dr. Delbert Blair, this complex polymer has the ability to turn you into a god. So it's a god. Although no human is supposed to be worshipped, a god can simply be described as an individual, a race, or a group of people able to do the supernormal. These are the five ways that the presence of melanin in your body turns you into a god. Instantaneous reactions to energy field. Since melanin reacts independently to the rest of the body organs, it is capable of reacting instantaneously when exposed to different energy fields. People who have melanin have been told that everything in the body is governed by the brain and that every reaction in every system is brain governed and that is wrong. Melanin acts independently. It is capable of instantaneous reaction to energy fields without being processed through any of the neuron, synapses, and dendrite stems of the brain. In other words, it acts as a chlorophyllin carrier. It takes energy, reacts to it, and processes its own information to its nearby cells. That's why you can get, again, those beautiful moves of the Michael Jordans those cuts and so by the football players and those immediate reactions because you can't stop and think. They have to train people without melanin or with little melanin to react. People with melanin react anyway because it's like what they showed on the black Buddhas. You have eyes everywhere. You are totally conscious and you don't wait for brain processing which slows it down. We'll prove this to you in the classes because you can inflict pain and if you have your mind off somewhere, it'll take sometimes up to 15 seconds before you feel the pain. And you can even delay that longer if you're trying to offset pain by merely mind control. They don't teach you, though, with melanin, you can make that instantaneous reaction or you can delay it up to 30 seconds or you cannot even get to feel it at all by simply using certain ways with melanin and ingesting certain foods and herbals. Speeds the healing process in half. Melanin can speed up the healing process by half and by a third in strong magnetic fields. Melanin is a gift from the gods. With melanin, you can speed up your healing process in half. And if you really get into a strong magnetic field, nothing to do with the electricity, which hurts you in the main. You can be even cut that into a third. You can see into the body without using anode cathode ray bombardments, if you have melanin, by using magnetic fields. Once you begin to use this kind of energy in this fashion again, per se, you can speed up everything that your body does and everything that your brain does. You can even speed up the kind of energy and frequencies that normally you're attuned to that come in to your body and into your brain. This makes you a god. By locate. When functioning correctly, people with melanin can be in consciousness in one place and the body in another. 
When your melanin is functioning correctly, you can bilocate by being in consciousness one place while being in your body in another. Some people call that state now death. That is real life. That's why they used to have guardians for the body, watchers, and all kind of other terms that some of you from Louisiana, from Mississippi, from the old country, and with the teachings of the god Valdal knew about. And that's what you used to run to those people to buy locate and tell you what was happening and to influence your enemies. And you know your grandmothers and grandfathers talked about it. And some of you may even practice it now. But practice it in the light, in the full capacity. It is a gift of the gods. You earned it. When you don't do the drugs, and I do a lecture called Drugs and the Astral, if ever you want to get a dope head off of his drugs. Teach a person with melanin who still knows that he has a soul and a spirit, and she has a soul and a spirit, that they actually can ground their soul on hell. That's the other term for earth when the non-melanin carriers came. And have to go through this nine lifetimes to get it straight again. And if they don't believe that, Ask them, what do you think they're doing with their life now when they themselves know down deep that the days are passing by and they're going nowhere except into a total extermination of their physical body? The herbals that you take work differently because they have part of the earth in it and part of that earth awakens the old earth people who are melanin carriers. And therefore, all of those kingdoms of the plants, the animals, the insects, the birds that fly, and everything that creeps and crawls and moves responds to that vibration because it was a vibration that they were created in also, and they look upon you as gods. Gods who don't know who they are. Rich standing frequencies. When melanin in form of high energy yields vibrates, Every cell in the body vibrates faster, producing astounding frequencies that can be physically tested. Inasmuch as melanin works on every part of the body and is in every cell of your body, now when the energy fields of Earth change, it will begin to vibrate faster and every part of you will begin to quicken in what it's capable of doing. The tests of any kind the inoculations using basic low vibrations, food that does not have energy stored within it cannot work well for you now because you are in a process of change. When the melanin in a form of high energy yield throughout the body vibrates, every cell in every organ vibrates faster. Since melanin is also in the brain, the brain vibrates faster. And the frequencies that it can reach are astounding. They're the frequencies that let you seem to be out of your body looking down on it that they all talk about. They're the frequencies that let you sense when something's going to happen to one of your loved ones before it happens. And if it's happening, almost go crazy because you know it's happening even though you're not there. It beats any switch on EATT, North, Northern Telecom, or Bell Atlantic. It is your instantaneous form of communication. It is a thing that messes up your cable TV when you pass by it. It is a thing that sometimes when you get excited, again, begins to interfere with your TV patterns. And it's a thing that we just don't utilize enough. Why? Because who was going to teach it? The teachers were killed when they brought us out of Mother Africa. The teachers were killed when they attempted to do it here. And even under the Masonic Guild, and the ancient ones who tried to at least serve the gods by helping the children of the gods to do who they were, they were killed and tortured as worse as you were because they didn't want you to know who you were. They wanted to steal the planet, imprison you, and take what the gods had left. Again, I'm talking about gods, advanced scientists from many worlds 
watching a special project here on this planet, Tierra, Sean, Sanche, all names for this little place. Cosmic Wisdom When operating correctly, melanin can cause the pituitary gland to release hormones that give flashes of the cosmic universe. Melanin, when operating well, causes the pituitary gland to release hormones that they haven't even cataloged. They can't because they have no way to measure the hormonal things because they're instantaneously there and they're gone. But when they're there, they give you flashes of the cosmic universe. Intuitive flashes in full color of who you have been and what you can be. The same flashes that when you depart this body and your life flashes before you, that you go through again. But did they ever teach you? Is you don't have to. Who mass is this? Right. <laughs> like, who, like who? Wow, right there. I would definitely want to have to look into that. But you just want me to believe that that's what it is. It, 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 it's wild the way this stuff is.